Hey guys, as you can see I've got myself a Verizon version of the Samsung Galaxy S4 and I went ahead and I already rooted this device but I'm going to show you how you can root yours. Uh, it's very simple uh, although the steps uh, may seem a little tricky here and there but it's a really simple procedure. I'm going to show you how to get through this as easily as possible so let's go right ahead and get into it. First things first, if you haven't done so already, which I'm assuming you already did because everyone does it, uh, the first thing you're supposed to do, uh, plug it into your computer, install the drivers, make sure your computer can recognize your S4 easily and without any issues. And we're also going to need to go onto the phone itself and we're going to hit the Play Store and we're going to Android Terminal Emulator. So it's a free download, I already have it installed as you can see, but we're going to need this for the rooting process. Uh, just go ahead and get that ready. Next thing we're going to need is a few files, so uh, the link will be in the description where to download these from. We're going to need these four uh, files, there's actually uh, three files in a folder. So we're going to need these, the link is in the description, you can grab those from there. And lastly, we're going to need a micro SD. It's uh, something like this where it has an adapter because we're going to have to format the micro SD in such a way. This is a, a 2 gig uh, card right here. So you're not going to need too much. You could even probably get away with 512 megabytes or 1 gig. But we do have to format this to a particular file system. So let's go ahead and do that first. I'll show you how to format if you've never done it before. It's really simple, really quick. Uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to throw this into my card reader on my computer. If you have a newer laptop, new laptops usually come with them, uh, card readers. Uh, if you don't have one, they're fairly cheap if you want to go out and buy one. Or you could have a friend that could... Uh, let you borrow a card reader or a laptop or something. So right here, this is my removable disk right here, the SD card. And as you can see, it's 1.89 gigabytes. I'm going to right click it. So there's a format option here. We're going to hit format and the default over here is fat. Uh, we're going to need EX fat, so X fat. And you can go ahead and name it. I like to label mine just to make sure that I know it's the SD card that I want. You could either do quick format or format. That's not too big of an issue. Either way, it's going to get formatted. So that's pretty much it. Leave this by default, whatever it is, and go ahead and hit start. Uh, I don't want to format this card because uh, I already did it with another card, so you go ahead and do that. Make sure it is EX fat. We need EX fat because uh, otherwise we won't have the proper permissions. It just won't work that way. All right, so now that you have your formatted SD card and your files, what we're going to do is we're just going to drag the files onto the SD card. Simple as that. Just drag and drop like so. They're very small files, it should not take that long to do, but there you have it. Now they are on the SD card. Now you want to get this SD card and you want to put it on in your phone. You don't want anything else on the SD card besides those files. Make sure it's formatted EX FAT so we don't have any issues. I keep repeating it to make sure that we don't have any issues with it. So on the phone what we're going to do is we're going to open up the Android terminal uh, emulator and I should have it here. So we're going to open up the terminal and uh, as you'll see there's a dollar sign there so um, you don't worry about it this is you don't need to know any sort of coding just follow these instructions what we're gonna do is we're gonna hit CD space forward slash MNT forward slash EXT capital S lowercase d capital C lowercase a r d and then you're going to hit the enter button or the return button and that's the first line of code. Now this is pretty much changing directories and you're going to pretty much go into your external uh, uh, card right here, the SD card. So right there, that's what it looks like now. Next thing you're going to do is you're going to hit uh, period, forward slash, PWN, and that's going to execute a command. Now uh, I've already done this, um, but for uh, demonstration sakes I'll do it again so we're gonna hit enter there and there's gonna be a bunch of code there uh, it's gonna be doing its thing but at the end of this uh, you should see go from a dollar sign to a pound sign and right there as you can see it changed to a pound sign I hope that's coming out clear but uh, that means that it was in fact successful in uh, giving you uh, permissions so you're not done here yet uh, we're gonna hit period forward slash script dot sh and this is going to ensure that your uh, uh, 
you know super user permissions stays intact when you restart your phone and all that jazz so we're gonna go ahead and hit enter and there you go that's pretty much it you now have super user privileges uh, first things first you're gonna have to go back into the Play Store and we're gonna look for an app called super SU there you go you want to download that which I already have done that's pretty much just the app that grants permissions and to test out that you actually do have a uh, 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 super user privileges I recommend downloading an app such as titanium backup to test it out um, you could also get root uh, browser as you saw that I have that also is a good way to test your super user permissions but uh, what I do here is I get rid of all the bloatware which I already have done and uh, to get rid of bloatware you just go to backup and restore up there and go to the app you want to get rid of I've gotten rid of a, a crap ton already so just go through to get rid of something you just kinda hit it and then there's an uninstall button right there. Uh, do be careful, you don't want to uninstall the wrong apps or you could screw something up uh, really bad. There's a lot of firmware files in there as well that could get screwed over. But yeah, there you have it. Uh, that's as easy as it gets for uh, uh, rooting the ME7 build of uh, the S4. If you have updated it like me by accident and got screwed over, that's how you uh, root it. Uh, there's no unlocked bootloader yet, but trust me, once there is, I will show you how to do that as well. So there you have it. hope this was helpful. Let me know if you have any questions. I'll do my best to help. I've been busy these days, so it's getting a little difficult. But yeah, I'll see you guys later. Have a good one.